Hey, I'm Megan Mauser and I'm the Director of Services for Pet Value and Pet Supermarket. During this time where our groomers are temporarily closed, we're going to talk quickly about how to just maintain your pet's face at home so that they can see and they're comfortable in between the grooming time. Okay, so when you're trimming the face, the important thing is to keep them still and safe. So Winston is on a table right now. You can use a table at home, a washer, a counter, anything where they're gonna feel um, less likely to jump because they're used to that, especially if they go to the groomer regularly. When you're holding his face, a natural hold is going to be just down here. There's hair usually, and you can hold this gently, and you can see Winston's really used to this, and so he just kind of relaxes here. And that allows me to get at some of this hair and brush him properly so we can get ready to trim. So once you have a good hold, we're gonna start out by brushing him. We'll use the slicker brush first. It is made of wire, so you don't wanna press down hard. The point of the slicker brush is to kind of pat and pull. It's to get most of the knotting out and any undercoat that's in his coat. So I'm avoiding his eyes <laughs> and his nose, getting him brushed out there. You also want to get underneath the chin area and to do this I'm just holding the crown of his head and the bridge of his nose just like this. It kind of looks like you're gripping their face but they're okay. And then you follow that up with the comb. You're going to use the wide side first if you have a comb that has wide and thin teeth. If you just have a, a regular comb with only one that's fine too. Once they're completely brushed out, you should be able to get the comb through all of this hair with no problems. And that's important because mats can cause pulling of the skin and you don't wanna pull the skin or hurt, hurt them, so. So when he gets eye boogies and what is gonna help him stay cleaner is getting rid of all of this hair here. I'm gonna go ahead and take a small scissor here and I'm gonna very gently get him used to the scissors with the scissor closed by just rubbing him on the face right here. And when I feel comfortable and he's calm, I'm gonna go ahead and snip some of this hair out of here. Never make a cut if they're moving or fighting because you can't really predict what they're gonna do in terms of moving. Once you get that cleaned out, you can brush again. See anything that was left. And the point is it doesn't have to be perfect. We're just trying to make him comfortable and looking cute for the next couple of days. Once you get the corners of the eyes cleaned out, then we need to address this frock he has going on right here. And this is the part that for most of you who have dogs at home really causes them issues seeing. So you're gonna brush it all forward if you can. And you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna start in the center where you feel comfortable. And that's gonna give you a cutting point for the front of his face. And then you can just blend that into his head on both sides. 